Equivalent trigonometric expressions. Question 3. Write equivalent trigonometric expression using related acute angle for each of the following. That means we have to write only one relation and we have to use only related acute angle. That is what it means, right? So let's do that. So first let us try to understand where is sine 19 pi by 16, right? So and we should find related acute angle. So position where it is gives the sine of sine function, right? It is 19 pi by 16. That means this pi is divided into 16 parts, right? So 8 each. Do you see? 8 and 8, 16. But you are on the 19th part. That means 16, 17, 18, 19. So you land up here. Do you understand? So you are in quadrant 3. Now in quadrant 3, sign should be negative. So you are expecting a negative value. Second part which we have to check is what is the related acute angle. So acute angle is after 16, 17, 18, 19. So it is 3 pi by 16. Do you understand? So that is my related acute angle. And therefore I can write this as sign of 3 pi by 16, that's the related acute angle. And second, foremost, most important is 19 pi by 16 should be negative, but acute angle will be in quadrant 1, which will always be positive. Therefore, we should write this with negative sign. Do you see that? That is how we get it. Okay. So let me do all these for you so that you understand the process. Understand the process and next question, question 4, do it yourself at least for the related acute angle part and then we have something in addition also which you will learn in question 4. Let's do this one. When we say cos of 7 pi by 12 follow the same process 7 pi by 12 that means this is divided into 12 parts 6 here and 6 here seventh will be right there do you see this is your 7 pi by 12. So what is your acute angle? So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do you see? 5 more to go. Do you understand? So the related acute angle alpha is 5 pi by 12. Do you understand? Now cos is negative here. How do we know? Cos rule. C, A, S, T. So here only sign is positive. Cos is negative. So we are looking for a negative answer. Do you see that? So we can write this as Related acute angle will always be positive. All are positive here. So we'll write with negative. Negative of this angle. That is cos 5 pi by 12. And you get it. So simple as that. One more. And that is with tan, right? Tan is positive in quadrant 1 and 3, correct? Now, 7 pi by 6, where do we land? This pi is divided into 6 portion. That means this is 6 pi by 6. Do you see that? This is another way of writing pi. 7th is here. This is 7 pi by 6. Correct? So, what is the related acute angle? It is pi by 6. So, alpha here is pi by 6. Now, tan is positive here. Correct? Tan is positive here. Tan is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3. And therefore, we can write this as tan of pi by 6. That's it. So this is how we will write our trigonometric expressions using related acute angle. So in question number 4, which is the next question, write related acute angle yourself and the other correlated angles, try to understand how to write those. Okay? Thank you. All the best.